Counties are already declaring emergencies ahead of this April 8th solar eclipse. And part of the reason why is because that there are concerns cell phone services could be completely cut out during next month's solar eclipse, that traffic could be the most outrageous times you have ever seen in the path of this full solar eclipse. And that's just the start of it. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying over you right now as a viewer and concerning April 8th, concerning these times that we are living in. Here on this video, we're gonna be diving into everything you need to know concerning April 8th. No matter where you are in America, there are some interesting things here to say the least. As I'm sure you've probably already seen my prior video that I've put out about this, but here you're going to see the truth that might just be worth listening to. I, I wonder if this is a sign to come. Millions of people are going to be expected to travel to rural areas in order to get the perfect view of the event, which could pose problems for cell phone providers. See how interesting. And we know a couple months ago, AT&T randomly, they said, had their entire cell phone service cut out. Uh, T-Mobile is among the providers already making plans to try to cope with the demand. With the eclipse only days away, schedule important activities, have supplies, gas, cash, cellular service, and traffic congestion are things that you just need to be aware of. And we can obviously see that something is going on right now. And a lot of people are actually afraid. A lot of people are saying that this eclipse is showing the coming judgment, showing that we are like Nineveh right now. Even more interesting than that is the Eagles Pass city uh, being the same spot where the last Confederate soldier, the side of slavery during the, the Civil War, was buried in 1865 when America was in the Civil War there was a full solar eclipse, right? But I really believe that the spirit of the Lord might just be speaking through signs of the sky. And times in Exodus where God said, I have spoken once and now I will be speaking again. Some people are saying that he might just be speaking throughout all of this. And I'm just gonna say right now that no matter what, I know the truth that we are called to be led by truth himself, by Alpha and Omega beginning and the end. And a lot of people right now are just over and up in arms, stressed about everything that's about to come, when the reality is you don't have to fear. I will say what is very concerning and interesting is these iPhones that we have and Androids, I don't know, whatever it is that you possess. If you're a sinner and a heathen, you own an Android instead of an iPhone. No, I'm kidding. If you Have you ever been honest with yourself and you sit down late at night in bed and you just think that everything you've ever witnessed on your phone might just have been choreographed under a certain agenda? The reason why they're talking about the TikTok ban right now is because they're revealing the algorithm behind TikTok. They're revealing the algorithms behind some of these social media apps. They're showing how you're able to manipulate a user's feed exactly based off of how you want it to be. We are living in a world where the enemy has taken ownership of almost every sphere of influence. And to us, it just feels like pleasure. To us, it just feels like entertainment. To us, we're just looking at our friends' posts. But to the enemy, he's got us in his hands. And that's the worst type of slavery when you think about it. And so I'm not gonna go all out and say that this solar eclipse is a perfect representation. And this is exactly what God is saying, but I am just gonna say that it's awfully interesting how everyone is now talking about how the reliability of the electric grid in Texas, especially, and the, the reliability of traffic and phones and communication, things are just gonna go out. And I mean, yeah, you would expect that to happen if you have a full solar eclipse where the sun is literally blackened out. Well, there's certain spiritual things that are both spiritual and natural at the same exact time. The Bible is one of the most spiritual books the world has ever seen, but you still have to own a physical copy of it to, to read the words. And so I don't think they're mutually exclusive. With that being said, before I tell you the full conclusion, I'm so tired of believers being made fun of for looking into signs in the sky and around us. We don't need to be caught up in just conspiracy theories. Instead, we can stay rooted in the security of the truth of the word of God. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying over you right now as a viewer and concerning April 8th, concerning these times that we are living in, I almost see the Lord saying, so what? Not in a doubtful way, not in a way in which he's criticizing those who are looking into it, but actually in a way in which he is speaking life over you, over your Goshen. You see, there once was a day where there was famine throughout the land, but God had his chosen ones. God had his separated ones. God had his ones that were willing to look past the surface 
and actually be prepared and actually be protected from everything around them. I believe God is having his full binoculars on the earth right now, looking for the one that will say yes to the plan that he has already written for your life. If only you understood how you don't have to be afraid of any of these things. When in reality, yeah, there, there are going to be some things that go on this year that are not going to go well with the country. People are just going to get the result of their actions, of their free will. And it's not that God wants evil to happen upon America. It's God actually is trying to save America through this solar eclipse. God is trying to save America through this video right now, even as I'm speaking to you. And before I tell you the full conclusion, I just want to encourage anyone who knows a young adult or teenager to grab this 90-day devotional titled Built Different. So many people have testified of how it has changed their life, how they understand how to read the Bible more, how to pray, how to hear God's voice, and most importantly, know their identity in Christ so that they can pass through the veil and enter the spirit realm. Discount, it's only $11.49 right now. I don't even know how long we're doing the discount for. If you click the link down in the description below today, you'll be able to get it for that price. Also, my friend Chris Kelzer has put out a free preparation plan for emergencies that you can get down in the link in the description below. Especially if you're a husband or a wife and you got family, you need to lead, protect, and provide for that family. And we have a solution for that. With that being said, the full conclusion right now is, do you know God? Hundreds of thousands of believers, quote unquote, that will claim that, they, that you watch this video, but I genuinely want to know today do you not just know about him? Do you not just know how to check the boxes for him? But do you actually know him? You see, in the Old Testament, every priest, prophet, even whoever it was, they knew about God. But here in the New Testament, now that Jesus has paid the price for us, we don't just have to know about him, but we can actually have fellowship. We can actually be together. And my wife, Allie, I, I knew about her. I had seen her on Instagram, but I didn't know her until we met in person. And then I really didn't know her until we got married. Why don't you marry God today? Why don't you actually give your everything to him today and just enter his presence? Oh, if only you met him. And trust me, I'm someone who has actually had an experience where I was with him, where I was before his very presence during my two and a half week coma, where I was basically dead. Uh, with a cracked skull, the hospital actually was asking for my last will. You do not want to miss this testimony of who I encountered and how I was not on the earth. And Jesus showed me some things that uh, you'll be surprised by, to say the least, if you want to hear them of my finger, because you've got to hear this testimony.